law of exchange in business we call it the art of selling the ability to compel people to need you the ability to persuade the attention and the resources of people the law of exchange you see it is at the point of exchange that transaction that resources come to you so come sam sam is valuable bring bring your notebook sam is valuable sam is productive he has a product but he's still poor this is sam's money with me god has already told him i've released your wealth and the wealth is on earth the law of value has been kept the law of productivity has been honored but the law of exchange is why he's still poor although productive are we together now he must know how to reach me so that i will collect his product in exchange for this this was the law that brought jesus to the earth It was not enough for the father to intend it was not enough for the son to be willing there had to be a system of conversion where the word became flesh and then when that happened even at gethsemane there had to be a system of exchange so that he would become the cause the second adam he was not born the cause and exchange made that happen listen to me if you violate this law you will remain shockingly poor. You don't have to sell to exchange. You just have to get the people. When I say sell, I mean that you don't have to put a price. Otherwise, people like us who don't sell anything, for instance, you understand? I cannot come for a meeting and then I tell you, you must give me one million. You must give me 500,000. In that regard, I am not selling, but I am selling. You see that now? It is very true. I will be a wicked person to not teach you this. Because that is the final system of arrival of the resources. It is at the point of exchange that the millionaires are made. It is at the point of exchange that the resources reach you many of us have taken it a step further to be productive but you have not been able to get those who need it to come for it and it is until they come to your light that they come with their gift it was when the queen of sheba heard about what solomon was doing then she came with gifts solomon didn't sell anything but he sold something he sold excellence. Are we together? The same thing that I teach today as a man of God. That sometimes I taught years ago. And then while I'm struggling to get a bike. The people that invited me will come and stand close to me like a bride. And just bring out 1,000 and say, sorry sir, I hope we were really blessed. As if you are bribing somebody in a federal government job. The same thing I'm teaching today and someone can bring what is the dream of someone else and bring it. Why? Because of the law of exchange. When God was telling me to put these messages online and let it go free, it looked like God, what are you saying? It was not about it. He was saying, I want the ears of those who need this anointing. I want the ears of the generation that needs to hear you to hear you until this thing works hear ye him hear ye him patronize ye her that is when wealth begins to come where's case strings he's not here he didn't come this morning case strings was anointed great guy productive but one person Nathaniel Bassi got to hear his song and called him and said he should come. And God has helped that young boy now. Many of these people you see seated right now have their various albums and all of that in, in process now. Very soon it will come out. 
and before you know it you may not even be seeing them on friday again ah where is this one this one is in brazil and he said i know them no 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 are we together until your world knows you are there and they know why you are there it is an error for them to come to you what for they have to know you are there and they have to know why you are there by the grace of god many people continue to come here because by his spirit he has given us the grace to brand our impact we are not only impactful the impact has been branded the name koinonia is not a revelation it's a brand it's a brand it's a brand when you mention apostle joshua selman you don't think relationship and marriage no i know a lot about finance but you don't even think finance you brand your impact are you getting what i'm saying now the art of selling you don't always persuade men by talking to them you persuade men by talking to their needs talking to their hearts talking to their hunger there are times they don't want to hear but their needs will answer for you and say don't mind him we are here we need you how can you ever be poor and lack when you rise to a point where you are so needed you are so useful do you know how many people will be blessed when you learn this i've given you my story that people go to our family house looking for my mother and say wow this is apostle's mom mommy we brought this for you thank you for giving birth to this son i believe my mother's assignment was to give birth to me who will be proud that you came i submit to you my brothers and my sisters i say it with all humility and i say it in the name of the lord part of the reasons why we are effective in the pursuit of the things of god is because by his grace he has given a measure of rest in the pursuit of this mammon you will never serve god chasing money i don't go to minister today because i'm looking for money from the place otherwise i will choose where to go to and reject other places there are campuses that will invite you they barely even have the money for your flight but you know that souls need to be saved there but if money becomes your governor it will lead you outside the will of god there are people like Ejimi shed who have no business getting married to certain unbelievers but the reality of the needs will compel them to say no problem we will manage and their spiritual lives go down the law of value the law of productivity then the law of exchange and god has put the internet as a blessing to make that happen in one day one day god has given us a measure of influence to assist us but favor is when preparedness meets opportunity opportunity it's not very difficult for God to lift you it is not very difficult for God to announce you when a season where God is announcing people and blessing people and helping people and honoring people let me tell you my brothers and my sisters if you pay attention to the things that have been taught this morning they may look like basics but they are keys that anybody can pick right where you are you can tell yourself lord right where i am i've seen poverty and struggle i've seen divorce in my family because of this and my life cannot continue like this when you make up your mind like the prodigal son i will arise it's within your power sitting down to superstitiously wait for a breakthrough is deception you will sit there forever and your children will join you again and again whether you are a preacher whether you had the privilege to be educated or not, there is an opportunity for your rising. That from these ashes, from all of this that you are doing, you can arise. Some of you are yet to discover that value. You are not praying in tongues for nothing. The Holy Spirit is not a cause. It's not just something that came to make you a Pentecostal. The Holy Spirit is the advantage 
that treasure that is in earthen vessel put by God to turn your life around to turn everything around to turn your ministry around listen men may laugh at you men may be sarcastic but it's only for a while you can't laugh at results for too long your foolishness will become obvious it's a retreat but we also need to be empowered oh god when will you help me the day you engage this the day you bring something in my hands for as long as there was five loaf and two fish it was all right to feed five thousand people the multiplication is always possible when you bring something he didn't bring flour and and uh, raw fish no the young lad had processed flour bread and fish that was already roasted so it was easy to bless it if you bring raw fish god will teach you how to cook it he won't call anybody to buy it but when you present it you can stand and say my world come and see like a trophy what his majesty has done upon my life you are a man of god here let me tell you ministry is not the reason to be poor and it doesn't have to be by manipulation and all of that you can stay with the spirit while you are praying you are increasing in wealth you are not praying in tongues just so that your capacity is open while you are studying when others are sleeping and you are studying you are making this is remember your children when you are tired you remember i did, my father could not make this sacrifice but i'm making this sacrifice for the sake of my children and my children's children and while you are praying shakatos kabaratu siata the anointing of the spirit is rising until the day you see you are valuable now you have become productive you have something real then god will create the platform he will put all your destiny helpers in front of you and give you the mic and says your season of appearance one sermon and what god will do in that meeting you will never have rest again let us begin to come from all over the world listen let me tell you this by the grace of god when you have worked on yourself and you can say in all fairness that what i have will not bring me shame don't be afraid of letting the world know you are there it is not it is not pride to let the world know you are there jesus said let's go to other cities they need to know that i came the son of god today by god's grace as god has helped us we are not ashamed to tell the world that we respect and we honor but never to the point of intimidation because such as we have there is something god has done.